With neural frames, we know that we can train custom models on people, but what about our beloved pets? I wanted to put neural frames to the test to see if we can create a custom model for my buddy's cat. So for starters, I have the folder containing all of the images of the cat. You can see him there. His name is Larry, by the way. Okay, so now that we have our photos, I'm going to go to Neural Frames. Make this full screen here. Start a new project. Now, I've already created the model to save time, but what you would do is create a custom model, select your photos. So I'm going to go to the cat, select all my cat pictures. And then you want to select a category. So we're not doing a person, a man or a woman, we're going to do an object. And for a base model, let's go with realistic vision, I'm trying to keep the cat, you know, looking real. So we'll just name it cat. Now that we have our custom model, let's go ahead and start a new project. Let's select the cat. Again, this is the one I trained prior to the video here. Let's get rid of the negative prompts. We don't need to keep anything out. Now, when you're using a custom model, you do have to use SKS object, which is a call to your custom model that you've trained. So the system knows uh, what you're talking about. So let's say a cat in a fairy tale land. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so we have our cat in our magical fairy tale fantasy land. This one looks kind of funny. Now let's go ahead and lay out our timeline. We're not going to make it too, too long. Let's make it about 30 seconds. Okay, so the first prompt will be 10 seconds. Second prompt will be another 10 seconds. And then the third prompt. Okay, so we have three prompts here. The second prompt uh, let's let's change it up. Let's make a cat in outer space Galaxies stars planets, okay, and the last one let's do Cat in the jungle Okay, so now that we have our basic prompts lined up. Let's add a song I'm just going to go ahead and use one of our default songs from Hacks. Uh, fantastic artist here. I quite like this song. Okay, so we're going to put that in. Now that we have our song in, I'm going to go back to our prompts and I'm going to adjust these settings. So I won't get into too many details about the settings for this tutorial, but let's keep it at a strength, uh, strength six. We'll do smooth 14. I'm trying to keep it you know, pretty smooth, so that increasing the smooth number is going to do that effect. Uh, the edge echo, let's leave it at 0.8. That's going to really maintain the edge and the shapes of uh, the cat, which we, we want in this case. No tile echo, and uh, let's get rid of all the movement for now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so I don't have to do this for each and every prompt, is I'm going to save the settings here. So I'm going to go store parameters. Let's say cat video. Okay. So now I'm just going to come here. Parameters. Cat video. Here. Parameters. Cat video. Okay. Now we didn't have any movement in the first prompt, but in the second prompt, let's add a bit of rotation to the to the right and we'll add a bit of rotation to the left in the third prompt so now the last step we want to set up is the audio reactivity so we we do have our song here and we have a couple of modulations let's drag them out for the entirety of the of the song well this one's on the bass so let's have it at a zoom and we'll do a strength of five so that'll be a fairly strong or noticeable zoom i would say now we'll go to the second one we have snare let's see what the kick looks like kind of like how the the kick looks like and i'm gonna play with the smooth 
parameter. And what I like to do with Smooth is uh, to counteract what my main settings are. So if you recall, my main Smooth setting was 14. I'm going to change my Smooth amplitude to minus 14. And this will make make the uh, an opposite effect, almost like a pulsating. So now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and render and I'll meet you back once we have the final product. All right, so I'm back here and we do have the finished product. I'm just gonna go ahead and play our little cat video. And there we go. That's the, all there is to it.